The purpose of this video is to learn to pay attention to your breathing pattern and feel different areas of your ribcage, chest, and shoulders. The way you breathe can affect your pain, stiffness, and stress. If you haven't already, please read the blog article titled Breathing, More Than Just Keeping You Alive. Start by simply taking a big, deep breath and see what happens. Where did all the air go? Did you lift your shoulders up to your ears as you breathed in? Did you lift your chest up and arch your back? Did you pull all the air down into your belly? Or did you broaden the sides of your rib cage? How you breathe is usually very related to your posture, your stiffnesses, your pain, and your emotion. The goal here is to learn to breathe in ways you currently don't, to give yourself options, and to help loosen you up. The areas of most people that need to loosen up are the ribs of the upper chest and the ribs in the lower back part of the torso. So that is where I suggest you focus your breathing. First attempt to draw air down into your lower back to create a feeling that your ribs are being pulled away from your spine and your lower torso broadens. This area is typically very tight and compressed, so it may be challenging to create movement down there. It will help if you consciously relax your torso and don't attempt to sit or stand overly erect. Once you can feel a slight opening or tightness in the area, see if you can hold it open as you breathe. In order to open up the tightness in the upper chest, you first need to learn to control the movement in the lower torso. Otherwise attempts to lift and open the chest will simply result in a compression of the low back ribs. Keeping your low back ribs open, place your thumb and middle finger on your two collarbones and gently attempt to lift up. Trying to visualize air being pulled into your upper chest and lower back at the same time in a way that broadens your rib cage. This may make you very aware of all the tightness in your rib cage. If so, great. If areas of your rib cage are really tight, you won't breathe or move into them unless you purposely try, which means 12 times per minute something else is compensating and certain areas of your lungs aren't being used very well. The best way to improve your breathing, posture, and lung function is to feel where you are tight by taking a couple deep breaths into your rib cage every 5 minutes or so. And to a lesser extent, throughout the day, just try to think about how you are breathing more. And try to lightly breathe into the tight areas. If you are naturally a bracer, don't bother doing a lot of stretching to try to get more flexible. Just start paying more attention to how you breathe. If you have a desk job and tend to perch on the edge of your chair all day, pay attention to your posture and how you breathe all day, and you will prevent a lot of neck and shoulder discomfort. If you find you just can't pay attention to it all day, when you get home, lay flat on your back on the floor with your legs up and just relax for 15 minutes and think about breathing while you watch TV. Breathing is an exercise that doesn't take any extra time to do. You are doing it anyways. It just takes a bit of mental energy to pay attention. It may in fact improve your posture, lessen your pain, and make you more flexible just by paying attention. Don't worry about doing it wrong. If all you create is more awareness of how you breathe and where you are tight, then you are further ahead, but you will find that with awareness comes results.